It can't be that bad, oh, 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 it can't be that bad. There are no thick basketball players. There are short basketball players, Muggsy Bogues, but there's no thick. Like, well, because there's Shaq, no dump truck Shaq, in the back. Shaq is thick. He is. He wasn't thick. very muscular. He was a center, though. Yeah. Charles yeah. Barkley like, was pretty thick too. Late. Oh, oh definitely, yeah. yeah. For sure. Definitely his later yeah. years. They were both thick. They were both but, pretty thick. But I think Barkley, maybe the thickest. Thicker than Shaq. Yeah, because because Th- Barkley had the belly. Right. Shaq like, never exactly. had a belly. Yeah. Shaq never had a belly. Oh, that's right. Not until now. Shaq's got you know, I got, Shaq is pretty. Shaq, Shaq is growing into Shaq himself is now. Big boy, He's going yeah. into those suits for sure. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> and Shaquille. So, you know. <laughs> you know, they came out with a new Shaq Fu game. Yeah, are you on serious? the Switch? On the, yeah. are you familiar Shaq with Shaq Fu? Fu? No, on Switch. Shaq Fu. But is, you know the game Shaq Fu. No, no. He no, had no, his no, own no, no, no. fighting game on Super Nintendo. Oh, that's r- no, that I, 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 I did see that. They that revamped it and had, they have it on the Switch. It was super, it was super like two D. Like he super ran, 2D. he like ran super fast across the it map. Was one of those flat things. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I did and see that. I before. love it's like one of the worst that game. worst games or something like that. Yeah. No, Jiki well, did that. Yes, we, we he did. did. We played it with that's him, right. didn't we? That's that's mm-hmm. why I recognize that from Shaq Fu. Fuck. Well, welcome, 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 everybody. Yeah, welcome to another episode of Wait. Actually, let's let Marjani oh, introduce us. Yeah, Re- she rewind it. Take yeah. it all back. Oh, all right, welcome everybody back to It Can't Be That Bad podcast. Mm-hmm. Got Christian, we got Alejandro. Alejandro here. Voice. We got the shirts going on. We got the merch, we do, guys. We do. We wear our own shirts. Yes. I don't have the shirt today, but I am going to purchase two of them, them today. Ooh, two. Uh, two. Thank you very today. much, man. Yes, welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Baddies. Dude, you have a good. Radio hosting voice, voice a yeah. great radio voice. Oh, thanks. I've actually been told that once by a librarian in my <laughs> <laughs> in high school. He actually ran up to me. He's like, "Oh my god, wow, you have so like a many... radio voice." Why you were talking in the library? So many questions. Yes. So Go male. For it. So one male librarian. Yes. Two speaking in the library. And then three, you didn't get reprimanded. You got complimented for it. Yeah, that's wow. true. This is the bonkers yeah. world you live in. Damn, yeah. dude. I said I spy with my little. That's all I read was I spy books in the library. And those words, out loud? Those books have yeah. no words. What I, are you reading? Yeah. You were practicing <laughs> those books have no reading I, in the yeah, library. Wait a minute, looking Marjani. for the little things. Wait a minute, right? <laughs> There ain't no okay, fucking words in my eyes, right. I just want to see. There's no fucking... I was Waldo reading... has words. Waldo does Waldo have words. Waldo has words. Yeah. Because they got to explain true. the fucking Aren't tableau. they just pictures? No. Because they got to... Ex- in Waldo, they explain, they explain what's going on. Mm-hmm. Waldo stuck in pirate land. Help him get home. And then they turn the page. Oh, like, there was... There's was a little blurb. Like a little scenarios, conflict? right? Not like I Spy, which was just like, look at this crazy attic. Yeah, but I was reading oh. off the items I need to find, right? Like a marble. Magnifying glass. Cat. Magnifying glass. Cat. Cat. Yeah, exactly. Baby. Baby. Whiskey bottle. Did, Dad's no. Then they'd have something weird where it'd be like a golf club in the garden. <laughs> it would. Yeah, what? there'd be things that didn't make sense. Uh, and it's like right, one of the, it's right. one of like the fence slats, or maybe those highlights. Maybe I'm thinking of highlights. Highlights. The the magazine. Kids that's magazine. Favorite, oh, yeah. That was my favorite magazine as a kid. Going to the doctors. Dude, they have so my next door neighbor. She has this uh, stand outside where it's kind of like take food. what you need and I take uh, food every give time what I you can't provide. It's actually really awesome. Really yeah. cool. And Our there guys. are highlights magazines in there. Every time really? I leave, I grab yes. some of those oranges. Oh, you do? Oh, I eat are that food fresh? all the time. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, like grab something. I mean, no, they're out there all day I saw long. Some they're cuties. Yeah. Well, you put you saw some soup there. Tomato soup. I'm about to put some fudge pops in there. Okay. You know. Yeah. Well, that's. We've gotten there. Yeah. You've, you've yeah. had an hour to talk about Fudge yeah. Pops, and Fucking you did. Fudge Pops, dude. Uh, but we're not here to talk about Fudge Pops. No, we're not. No. We're uh, here to talk about a movie. Yes. Yeah, Marjani, you brought us a movie today. Yes, we did. Um, would you like to present that movie to us? Uh, tell the baddies what <laughs> movie it is, and you tell put them. Put it in the box and yeah. wrap it. <laughs> is, there a, is there a script for me to say, or just say it freely? Just, just go ahead and you say what, what movie it is. guys. It's good old Hot, Hot Rod. Rod. From 2007. Correct. Still in high school. <laughs> yeah, same Sophomore, here. Yeah. I think. No, we were in middle school. We, gra- that, we graduated yeah. middle school. You're right. You're right. Uh, I think we were actually freshmen in high school. The last time I watched this movie yeah. was in high school, and I'm okay. super happy that, that you did right. bring this up um, months ago when we were talking about you right. being a guest. Because since I haven't seen it in such a long time, it was it felt familiar, but all still fresh. Oh, so right. good. I, I was telling Christian, and we'll get to it later. But there was a a whole part of this movie that I, I had apparently never seen before. Because mm-hmm. I've seen this movie multiple times. Mm-hmm. Not recently, but I've seen it multiple times in the past. Uh, and then there was a part at the end where I was like, oh, I've I've never seen this part before. And it was fun. It's like when you've seen, it's like when you see a Friends episode that you haven't seen before. Uh-huh. And you're like, this is special. 
Right. Yeah. This episode was made for me. Right. You know yeah. I mean? like, right. It's one of those things. Where Catches like, you by surprise. How did I never see the one where Joey gets a Porsche? You know what I mean? Yeah, and then yeah, suddenly... Yeah. This movie episode. definitely has like it has the retention to come back to and like oh look so many for quotable all lines. these little things like I didn't even notice that because honestly this movie recommendation was from Ellie yeah um, shout out Ellie she, shout out Ellie she she loves this movie she has the DVD well she educated me last night had to watch it again yeah you sent me a picture right um of the My menu dad. oh yes and I menu. was like damn you were watching this on DVD that's awesome bro. dude it was cool because I was like man I gotta rent this because it's nowhere mm-hmm. right and she's Hulu. like no, I got the it's on I Hulu. got the or Amazon Prime oh, it's on Hulu it is you got Amazon okay. Prime? Well, she had the DV- DVD, so and that's sad. that's a real that. fan, right? Exactly, uh, yes. but it was so enjoyable to watch. It was really funny. It I actually, had, is. yeah. I thought it was going to be really stupid, and sometimes we have movies that are fairly dumb. Yeah. Um. Uh. But this one, I was happily surprised that it wasn't as stupid as I remember. Well, they executed well. it very well. Like it was saturated with a bunch of jokes, but very well placed. Yes. Yes. And they knew how long to to uh, run with it for. Right. Like with some stupid Adam Sandler films, they'll have very like dumb, mm-hmm. low-hanging fruit type of jokes. Yeah, that cowboy movie he did. Uh, Ridiculous Six, which I it's, kind of like, it's actually. just everybody oh, did no, their did jokes six times. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah. yeah it's it, okay. Um, why don't we just hop right into it then? We'll just do the nitty gritty. We'll yeah. go from there. Love the nitty gritty. All right, guys. We watched a movie it's called Hot Rod, released in the great year 2007. Had a rating of PG-13 and a runtime of one hour, 28 minutes, or okay, 88 or... minutes. Nice. Uh, it has a couple ratings here. I do want to say real quick, though, it got three out of five from uh, Roger Ebert. Roger knows movies then. So and But remember, he's given a couple other three out of five. I'm sorry. Or maybe it's out of four. He gave it three stars out of four. But like, there's a couple other shockers where like he gave this three out of four that we've done. Uh, and it's kind of surprising because he's... You know, it's funny that we say Roger Ebert <laughs> is the only person giving that rating. No, when it's, it's an actual team that yeah. represents... Well, because Roger passed away a couple yes, years ago. Yes, rest in peace. Uh, well, it was Roger and Ebert. And then <laughs> there was two people. It used to be two people. Really? Yeah. Huh. Wait, really? Yeah, I swear to God. I didn't know. It used to be two people. And then like, one like passed the Twix away, candy and then... bar, there's a right and left, apparently. Ah. The, well, I mean, right Twix all the way. Anyways, uh, 6.7 out of 10 on IMDb. 3.9... Uh, I'm sorry, that's not the right answer. 39% on Rotten Tomatoes. And Jeez. then 43% on Metacritic. Mm-hmm. Christian Baltazar. Hi. Marjani, what's your last name? Brown. Brown. Marjani B. Brown. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Has up? no one ever done that before? Fuck. Yeah, don't yeah. give him credit for things. <laughs> Why do you do don't do reinforce do that? Because I'm an OG, bro. I make up words. Yeah. I make up names. I make up lifestyles. That's what he does. And if you're going to come over here and piss on my rainy day parade, mm-hmm. then you're not... Ra- you're not piss out. on your rainy day parade? Yeah, Sun was out, dude. And, and you came out with dark clouds, bro. Bad. Hey, dude. Hey, man. I, no, stop teaming up on me. <sighs> I, I'm trying to. We s- did this last episode. <sighs> yes, I'm. I'm getting pushed into a corner. Put Christian Sorry. in the corner. Oh no! The game that it's because you're a baby. Yep, because you're a baby. baby. Not a baby. In the corner. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, what percentage of Google users approve of this film? I'll Gentlemen, let Mark Johnny go with it. Yeah, I promise I didn't look it up. I would and like I'm not being sarcastic. The guests okay. to uh, guess first. Okay. Um, so, Google. Chris Perry. What? Oh, Chris Perry's also in the room. <laughs> Chris Perry, what percentage of Google users approve of this film? Shout it out. Uh, 83. Okay, my Johnny. I'm going to do 86. Okay, Christian. 95. All right. Let's uh, all say a fun fact about those years. 1983 was the year that the Challenger explosion happened. 1986 was the year that my father met my mother. And then 1995 was the year Christian realized he had okay. a penis. You said... 19, you said, let's all say a fun fact about this, and you manned the entire thing. Yeah. Just like this show. It had a rating of <laughs> That's You want to break that down real quick? Because we could get Jeez. that, but I don't want to argue with you right now. Uh, well, I, we have stuff to do here. We have itty bitty nitty gritty to okay. go. Okay. So, all right. Uh, it had 87% on Google. 87? Users, 87. So Marjani wins. Damn, dude. I, yeah. Well, I've never heard anyone say anything bad about this film, so I'm very surprised really? that it has something low than 90%. Well, yeah, from hearsay... I, Everything online is like this movie is stupid. Like, it's, of course, it's dumb. Whatever. But when I hear from like people, like, okay, it's funny. And I watched the movie a few times. I'm like, this movie is great. Why is it it's that fantastic. low? It's pretty clever. I, I think though, honestly, like three out of ten people like this film. Mm-hmm. I don't think everybody likes this film. It's a stupid film. It's an easy. It's it's like it's a dumb film. We know what it is. Yeah. It knows it. It knows what it is. Mm-hmm. You know, I I I don't think you have to go hard to find somebody who doesn't like this film um, yeah. but it is fun 
Yeah, I yeah, think it was, it was executed fun. very well. I mean, it's like Andy Samberg has such a unique sense of humor. Do you watch anything else that was produced or made by Andy Samberg? Because he kind of blew up. He and the Lonely Island crew kind of blew up after. Uh, Throw out some movies. I mean, because I'm not sure. We'll never stop stopping. Mm-hmm. No, I haven't seen that. Brooklyn Nine Nine. Have you watched that? Yes, that one's funny. And that's, but that's yeah. not a Lonely Island thing. Yeah, but he's in it. No, though. but it's Andy Samberg's yeah. baby. <clears throat> basically right now but are, are his Saw other two things. friends his other two friends don't write on that do they they might actually they for sure guest star in a few episodes so i'm sure they have some sort of involvement i know that they're a very tight crew and they they still work on projects with each other um uh synapse is coming at you here right at you for rod kimball performing stunts is a way of life even though he is a rather accident prone poor even though he's rather accident prone poor rod i thought i was gonna say poor richard but that's not anything. Who's Richard? No, Poor Richard is an almanac that was written by Benjamin Franklin in the 1700s. Uh, keep going. Poor Rod cannot even get any respect from his stepfather, Frank, who beats him up weekly. When Frank falls ill, Rod devises the most outrageous stunt yet to raise money for Frank's operation. And then Rod will kick Frank's butt. You put butt in there instead of ass? No, it says butt. I'm, I don't... That's a good question, though. Yeah. I never yeah. change the synopsis. I he, usually just read he, it he, like, wanted to in a funny voice. Ass, right? Yeah. He, that's like the silliest... No one kicks butt anymore. That's actually like the silliest yet one of, my, one of the funniest concepts I've ever heard of in my life Kicking of butt. like raising money to heal somebody just so that you can beat them that's to death. That's what makes it so stupid, but yeah, funny. <laughs> you know, as <laughs> stupid as that is, that is not the stupidest joke in this Right, film. that's... Yeah. There are so many things here that... dumb stuff. Very dumb. Yeah. Um, let's go straight into it, dude. What well, do- I, I have one more thing if we can. Okay. Oh, um, budget. Budget and box office. My oh, bad. Okay. My B, my B. So the budget of this film was $25 million. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do we want to guess how much it made in its box office? Of After you? $10 mil. $10 million in the box office, Christian? Say the budget number again? Uh, $25 million budget. So you think it lost money? Yeah. I think I it think gained so. money. I'm going to go with 35. Jesus Christ. Really? You think that's too much? I think <laughs> I it did know. okay. <laughs> Why are you ju- I didn't criticize you. Hey, you you kind of did, did a little bit. You like asked like, him. You, yeah, kinda, you questioned low, it at least. I you, framed it. Yeah, I framed it. I was like, so you think he lost money? I just went straight fine. direct. Huh? <laughs> but he's trying to say, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Jesus Christ. Uh, you want to like, I never this? done this thing anymore. He's right, actually. So, I mean, you're 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 harping on him, but he's probably, he's actually right. Uh, this movie only made. I don't like this episode so far. This movie only made $14.3 million. But it made seven hundred and fourteen dollars in France and Liberia combined. Seven hundred fourteen, fourteen. Yeah, seven hundred and fourteen dollars in France and Liberia combined. You're not missing any zeros on there. No, seven hundred and fourteen dollars. Uh, but then it also did over twenty five million dollars in DVD sales after it was released on television. Oh. There we go. Well, there but we go. usually so, ask box office recoup. So you're right. You're right. You know, raise your glass to nothing. Man, well, fuck me, right? <laughs> <laughs> I bring you guys into my home. I know. This I provide you with fudge pop. Ah, this you thing did again. not. You've offered I'll, fudge pop. I'll Pacino we fudge declined pop again. the oh, fudge God. pop. I don't know why. Multiple times. <laughs> you guys are getting one fudge you pop at least. Stop. By the you time know, you come, you know why we don't want the fudge pop? It's because you let them melt and now they're in weird shape. I shapes. didn't let them melt. There is too many groceries. Like 100% fudge in the freezer and it didn't close. That's not a problem. Oh. You're saying that. And like, so we now feel they're kind of you. deformed. You guys got something against deformed fudge pops? Yeah, we don't want them. Yeah, we don't no. want fudge pops. Period. Damn. There's like the dude. ice around it too. Still, it's like no. It right. makes it hurt to bite into. I had one earlier front today. Teeth. It was okay. Teeth. Man, I don't like this team. <laughs> That's fine. Like we can go team? back to the movie then. I'll delete this episode. <laughs> uh, Andy Samberg, Isla Fisher, Bill Hardy, <clears throat> Joma, Joma, Jorma, Jorma. And I believe Jorma it's Tocum. Isla Fisher. Is it Isla or Isla? Isla. Yeah, Isla. It's Isla Fisher. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Islaya Fisher. <laughs> Um, and then this movie is directed by Akiva Schaefer, who was the third part of the Lonely Island crew. Yeah. And this is actually his directorial debut. And he only fact. pops up once in uh, the movie. You yes. know what? I think he's actually the unsung hero of Never Stop Stopping. I think his character is actually a lot funnier than Andy Samberg's in that movie. Really? Yeah. You because know, he like quits to go work on a farm and shit like that. I, I, be, I like that they have the... There's like a little trio chemistry going on like where they are fine with Andy Samberg being the face of Lonely Island and they each have their own tasks and whatnot because he's the one that directed it Mm -hmm. and had one of the funniest moments in this movie yeah he was the drug dealer wasn't he 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 gave um, Dave played by Bill Hader he gave him acid (laughs) at the skating oh shit yeah that's right yeah he he tells a story about the uh, guy who got acid or took acid and then had to go to the hospital right 
Yes. Uh, that's actually a real story from Bill Hader's life. <laughs> really? Bill Hader was actually doing acid with a friend who got a piece of metal stuck in his eye and he had to take him to the that hospital. That is funny. And so telling that story to Andy Samberg, they added that to the film. That is so funny. Because that... <laughs> They they introduced that once and never really come no. back to it. Yeah. It adds it nothing just, to the story. It was like no context to anything else. It's just like, hey, what are you doing tonight? You want to take me <laughs> no, to the hospital? No, no, no. What? Apparently, <laughs> he was polite and calm about yeah. it. Apparently, that yeah. guy went up to Bill Hader later on and was like, hey, man, I just saw that movie Hot Rod. You know that happened to me, right? And Bill Hader's like, yeah, yeah we know. Yep. Yeah. That yeah. Was thoroughly yeah, man. inspired by you. We all know. It was incredible, dude. This movie. So fucking funny. One of my favorite. If you guys look at this uh, light box right here, <laughs> yeah. um, I'll put up a picture. Uh, it says, "My name is Rod. I like to party." That, that part of the movie. Did you have to scene. look to see what it said? Yeah, dude. Well, I, <laughs> I mean, to your defense, <laughs> yeah, it's a long just sentence. Re- just reading it off. Maybe the camera's picking it up. Yeah, it's a long yeah. sentence, dude. Do not question to, my literacy to, skills, yeah. man. To see what the rest of the line was. Because <laughs> I didn't know it verbatim. I could have said, "My name or." <laughs> What accent is that? Drunk Southern man. Oh. Oh, okay. you That's every day? Cool. Whoa. I am not from the South. Oh, dang, Chris, that was, that was a shot. See, I, thank you. Yeah, so I like when my Johnny takes my does, side. He throws shit at me like this, and then when I, he's it's like, I want to be in a hot kitchen, but. Don't put the heat on me. Oh. You know, that's no. that's how Christian is. Alejandro's thing is that he'll say something. He'll throw yeah. an insult. But uh-huh. if someone bites back, yeah. he acts victim. He's like, my bad. I'm sorry. Look, I don't know. I what. was joking around. I, was joking. I, I, I don't apologize. So I don't know where he's getting that from. Um, uh, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I definitely don't apologize. Uh, anyways, this film was intended for Will Ferrell. This movie was originally written... Um, for Will Ferrell to be Rod. Really? Yeah. What? And then the three boys took over and rewrote it, and they actually took out some outlandish So things. they're not the ones that... Uh, they wrote it, right? They rewrote it. They rewrote it. This, okay. isn't, this isn't their original concept. This was a film that was written by actually one of the writers of South Park. Um, and oh. then it, it was sat in Lauren Michaels' desk for a handful of years. Lauren Michaels and Michael Goldwyn, I believe. That's uh, Those were the two that uh, manned this project. Well... Um, gave well, you know, the, pro- gave it the okay. Produced, yeah. yeah, they were like okay, um, but I I didn't know that at all. I would think See? I would think that Maybe they like built so. this from the ground. No, they rewrote it a couple of times. In fact, and then and then Seth Meyers came in and helped him add some jokes to it, but he really? didn't get a writing credit. Uh, and then they almost didn't want to have uh, the original writer's name as a credit, but the boys were like, "No, we should just have her credit as a writer and we'll uh-huh. be and give, give also, it words also writers." You know, I I mean, she gets the writing credit, but then also written by. Mm-hmm. Because they create, she created the idea. Yeah, well, Hot Rod wasn't something that Andy Samberg woke up and was like, I got an idea. Yeah. Whoa. But it's possible. <laughs> it's, yeah. not that, it's not yeah. that fleshed out of a story where that's know. not possible. It, it, but it, but Maybe. you know what I don't know. He could have watched like an Evil Can Evil documentary. It's the same. Okay, yeah. It's the same basis as that other SNL movie, though, uh, where the guy does a boxing match for $50,000. It's almost like exactly the same. What movie is that? Yeah. Give me a second. South Park, Jake Gyllenhaal. That was a comedy, yes. right? No, that's about yeah. that's about Eminem. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's it is. It's an al- it's a, it's an allegory for Eminem's life. Well, but boxing so- instead of rapping. Yeah, South Park. Actually, South Park is based on Eminem. They did that after Eight Mile. They're like, how are we going to remake Eight, Mi- eight yeah. Mile? Oh, eight, wait, no, 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 no. Uh, stop, stop. Eight Mile's not no. about Eminem. Eight Mile's a made up story. No, there are definitely allegories too close to home. It. There's parts of it that they take from Eminem's life, but that is not a, that is not a true story. Like that is a scripted part. There was no doc that he had a rap battle with that was supposed to be Dr. Dre. Like none of that shit that happened to that rapper was what Eminem's story. Are is. you sure? Yeah, he did grow up in the trailer park. Detroit, he did have a beat. He did grow up in Detroit. <laughs> did grow up in the Eight Mile. But the movie Eight Mile is not Eminem's life story. This doesn't make any sense. I don't know, man. I'm look, gonna have okay, to look I'm that up. Little... Look, I'm already looking up a different fact. You can look up that fact, but that is that is. A, I'll that look is it up true. afterwards, man. I'm not yeah. saying that you're wrong, but I'm also not saying that you're right. No. And that's what upsets me because I am right. Yeah, but you know there are also. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Let's, let's, let's keep going. <laughs> I'm fucking All right, let's talk about Hot Rod. Um, that's the thing. I thought we were watching National Treasure. No, I thought it was <laughs> that shit killed me. I got out of character on that one. That I saw that, and I'm like. <laughs> That is fucking hilarious. I thought and we were going to watch pe- this movie. Oh, he watched the wrong movie. Yeah, he watched the wrong movie, dude. Yeah. Uh, so, That's funny. <laughs> when was the last time you watched this prior to watching oh it again? Oh, my God. It was like maybe, maybe, 
earlier this year. And what do you think works about this movie so well? Because there's obviously a lot of people. The subtle humor. The subtle humor. Yeah. Okay. The subtle, I love subtle humor. Mm-hmm. Like the little things that are kind of random and it's just like, okay, still fits into the story. Like we get the whole premise behind it and everything. I don't know. And you got good, you got good people in there that can make good comedy. Yeah. You know, and, and everything. So it's just like, it wasn't dumb. It, to me, it wasn't fully 100% dumb. There's yeah. some movies out there that are dumb. Terrible. Like cool. where the stupid humor is not executed Exactly. Well. And it's just like, okay, I can't even get through this. But this is like, okay, it doesn't drag on. It's very small humor. It's random humor. I love random shit. And like right from the top, it surprises you because yeah. he's about to do this. Uh, Amazing stunt, right? <laughs> yeah. These poorly built ramps. Right. Yeah. It, yeah. He does these poorly built ramps on this like kind of a a automatic but manual bike and Uh he's going and he's about to make this jump but he fails miserably and that's it and just like that that's kind of the opening scene and it's like obviously a rag doll a a crash dummy that they used basically was a yeah (laughs) yeah it was very convincing that it was a rag doll because he slammed right into there and that was it and then he went back inside you know what this movie does well is like in the middle of a joke, like right at the peak or where the punchline of a joke happens, they're good at cutting it, right. making it short, and they just Which move on like it's nothing. funny to me. Yes. Yeah, it's funny. It's just quick humor. Boom. I feel like it's a little bit ahead of their time because mm-hmm. that's kind of how it is today. Like with like instant videos that are like 15 seconds long, 7 seconds long, whatever. It's like quick stuff. Boom. That's funny. Yes. It gets it done because our attention span is very like – Very short. Low and short. Yeah. So I think they kind of really – like executed that pretty good. They capitalized mm-hmm. on that very well. Mm-hmm. I do want to ask you of the characters that on on the, in this movie, and they are all so wacky. Yeah. And Alejandro oh, and I yeah. always have this talk. Who do you identify with the most? With me, myself, you yourself, oh, and I know that's difficult because these yeah. are very outlandish characters. That's a good question because there's a few characters that I I love. Uh huh. Um, Danny McBride is funny. I love him in so fucking good. movies. But I can't Danny identify McBride. himself as show. me. Mm-hmm. I think it would have to be, fuck. I guess Kevin. He's more technical. <laughs> <laughs> I think it will be because he's more technical. He does all yeah. the editing. Oh, he's a videographer. He's a videographer. So I guess I can relate more to him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know, but he's a he's a funny ass character. Though. I feel so bad for his character, dude. He gets dad's dying, yeah. and, so nobody, and nobody yeah. even like tries to console him for the fact that his actual dad is dying. Yeah, right. no one. <laughs> yeah, no this no is a bigger right. deal. It's Except all for about his dad. It's all about Rod he, trying to solve. Yeah, stuff. he like coddled him when he's like dying or whatever, and like Andy's like, 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 I'm still gonna. He's like, he's like, what is the theatrical? Uh, what do you say? Oh, and is this like an interactive theater? <laughs> oh, is this interactive theater? <laughs> yeah. Like, because all of a sudden he was dying on the couch. And they're exactly. like, how Thanks for not long showing Frank... up to the pool. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, how yeah. long has Frank been sick? Yeah. Since 21, 21 years. years ago. Yeah. His whole life. Exactly. And he's Hendrick's whole life. Yeah. E- either either Kevin or with Dave. Right? Dave, Bill Hader. Either him. I feel like that Hader, maybe you? might relate to me a little bit more. He's got, he's pretty random. Uh-huh. He, and I could be random too. Yeah. And everything. And kind of just like here, pop in here and there a little bit. I don't know. That's our, That's a good question. What about you? Same. I think I'm somewhere um, in between Dave and Kevin. Yeah. Because, uh, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Dave, Dave, they're both kind of like, they're not as aggressive. I'm not an aggressive right. person by nature. Right. And easily, Danny McBride and Andy Samberg, they're both overconfident. Right. Um, they're both very aggressive. Danny yeah. McBride is like violent right. by nature, even though he goes to church God. every Sunday is what he His said. His first stunt with the firework. So funny. <laughs> this was funny. <laughs> I found some fireworks in the bathroom. This is going to be fucking awesome. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> it's like, what? Uh, uh, I'm Rod. You're Rod? Yeah, because I'm the leader so? of the group. Not Rico? Nah, man. I'm the, I'm the brains of this operation here. Yeah, that's fine. You're... I thought you would say. Ah, oh, man. Are there even brains in this operation? <laughs> no, there's no brains there in are, this. If there are, Rod's got them. <laughs> you know... Who would be the brains in the whole operations? There's like literally it's nobody. Rod. Yeah. Rod, the parents dude. are oblivious to everything that's fucking going on. How old are they? I want to know. Are they supposed to be like teenagers? Question. That's because a good question. No, 30. We, they're, we they're like 30 years old. We don't see sure. them work. No. We don't ever yeah, see them pay no bills. Income. We yeah. don't see that. Like they're still living yeah. at home. Are they kids? Yeah. I don't know, man. Are, are they teenagers? Kids? It could be that like w- it's a weird universe where they're just really old looking kids. Yeah. But what makes me doubt that is that. Isla Fisher comes into the picture and right. she hasn't been there. She obviously finished college and came back. Right, right. Because they were like, we could use someone like you in our crew. Right. We could That's use your college hilarious. skills. Yeah. Where they're like, hey, yeah. you want to join our crew? And she's just like, yeah, actually. Well, I, it's not going to be that crew. easy. 
was like, what? He's trying to <laughs> neg her. Yeah. In the worst way possible. Yeah. And she, yeah, he pours, what, what like, did he like have in his... Cola like, you know, like a Slurpee or something. Slurpee the rest something. of his Slurpee on her foot. That, that, he is fixing, he's fixing a, or he's... Working on an engine, the way I imagine Banging you work on, on cars, Christian. No, nope. that's a fucked up assumption. The with a hammer. That's a yeah. fucked up assumption, dude. I kind of, I want to say that I know a lot about cars, but I could like, you know, I could get my way through. Like if I have a flat tire, I could yeah. change, I could change a tire, <laughs> Flat dude. tire, pump gas. I can jump. But I can that pump. has nothing to do with an engine. I can jump Start a the battery. Car. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, okay. Still not an engine, but yeah, okay. I no, but I could like. Yeah, the that is open. kind of an important skill though, because you don't want to cross those wires. Both of those things, you'll be okay. Both of those things, you get a show yeah. both of those things are are, are basic knowledge that i've people crossed should the know. wires before by the way and like i said you don't die but you get a cool show yeah um uh, <laughs> oh, it destroyed shit. my mom's suv's car battery so hey, we only drove did. in silence <laughs> we only drove in silence <laughs> oh and every God. single time yeah. we would have visitors in <laughs> the suv they'd be like hey can you turn on the radio <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry we can pull out this fucking banjo and just like we, <laughs> we do live like, music live here. music in like for you christian brat is ukulele <laughs> Yeah, it can't right. be that bad. <laughs> Ten years ago, that one Christian. <laughs> That'll never get used. Oh shit, dude! But no, I'm not just gonna take a hammer and hit an engine, dude. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> the fact that that engine's completely out of a car that we don't see the car at all That's makes true. me laugh yeah. too. He's just not working on a car. Engine. He's not working on it. He's just straight up hammering you a know fucking what, engine. Do you guys remember what he does to get her attention? What was it? Yeah. He's, He's flashes. flashing the mirror. Oh, yeah, right. Her. Oh. right into her yeah, eye. So exactly. she's like, what the fuck's going on? But you on? know what's funny about her character is what? like, she doesn't give a fuck no. about all the shit he's doing. Not at all. It's she does like, not she judge has no him. reaction, no judgment, no nothing. Mm -hmm. So that was, yeah. She was all about it. Yeah. Like, and it's all seemed like in the same day, he almost died three times. He almost <laughs> drowned himself. <laughs> it's no, that's not all on the same day, is it? <laughs> I'm not sure. I, um, oh, the training seemed, montage. The training montage. I thought you meant like his stunts were all on the same day. No, but the training montage was for sure all on the same day. Because when he rips the string out of the bell, I almost cried laughing because the fact that they're like 38, 39, 40, and he's already floating. He's already dead. And then they wait another five seconds before they're like, yeah. get him out, get him out. Get him out. Yeah. Well, because the, the, sorry, whole, the whole, like, the whiskey, the, like, the going down that slope yeah. or whatever, oh, like, when, yeah, whiskey done. And they're like, all right, three, two, one, oh, whiskey, and then that's it. <laughs> whiskey. The, yeah. the safe word didn't work. Well, what's the safe word going to do? Yeah. What, is the safe word what break? Is, yeah. He's yeah, all the no way world. down there. They can't do anything. Whiskey. That's it. That is it. Whiskey. I what will say, of the stunts, the first stunt that he does in the very beginning of the movie where yeah. he flips over, the stuntman broke his leg doing that. Wow. The real stuntman did that? A real stuntman oh, did that. Wow. And I watched that three or four times after I read that. I thought it was a ragdoll. <laughs> we just said it was a ragdoll. I know. Yeah. And I wanted to say it then, but you guys were, were very into something, so I waited. We're like, it's a ragdoll. Uh, no, yeah. that was a stuntman who broke his leg wow. because of that. Shout I'd be out pissed. to that. Yeah, guy. I'd be pissed at a stuntman. It's like, fuck this movie. It's going to be under 40%. Also, fun fact I know about the stuntman. They lost money. All, yeah. all of Andy Sandberg's stuntmans um, hurt themselves. The other Lonely Island guys asked them to, they had to wear. Prosthetic noses so that they look like Andy Sandberg. But the uh, other two guys of Lonely Lions kept giving the stuntman bigger and bigger prosthetics. <laughs> so That's he, a joke. They kept getting yeah. bigger and bigger noses. Yeah. That's fucked up. Until Andy Sandberg finally had to say something and be like, are their noses getting bigger? <laughs> I just also think, like, there were so many little pranks that went yeah. on, like, behind the scenes and the shit. Apparently, Danny McBride was super into Jaeger bombs, and that became, like, that the sense. drink of the show. So yeah. everybody just drank Jaeger bombs during the production of this film. Oh, my God. So there's That's so dangerous. many, like, little things that went on behind that I, I just blow my mind. That is that so these are just, dangerous like, to drink on production. I feel like period. it is. Just to drink a Jaeger yeah, bomb, exactly. period. But I think with this movie... It didn't seem like it took itself seriously. It right. seemed like they legitimately had fun. Yeah. And I, I wonder if they did very much what like Anchorman did or like a lot of the Judd Apatow movies mm -hmm. did, like a uh, 40 year old virgin yeah. or like knocked up where they would say like, give them a skeleton of a script and they would just have to come up with the jokes themselves. Right. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure that's, that's how they would mm -hmm. run this. Right. Yeah. I, I could see that for sure. Um, like, like it, it was a 2007 movie, so it was like very early mm -hmm. for them to do all that type of stuff. But um, yeah, totally be themselves, like kind of write your own script in a way, nothing serious. Let's just have fun with this movie and see where it goes. Yeah. And I think that's what makes it very like, like that's why it chooses its audience. Like, you know, for someone who's like, oh, this is so dumb. Like, that doesn't make any sense, blah, blah, blah to sure. where maybe us like more free minded, open minded. It's like, you know, this, this is smart. Humor is funny. It's, it's dumb. But at the same time, it's like, I, I get a good laugh out of it.
Well, like we yeah, had said before, we knew they what knew what they were. Oh, for yeah. sure. And they did. There's a quote that I, I was going to try and find earlier, but uh, from Andy Samberg. And I think he even says, he's like, this is for like 30 out of 200 people. He's like, we know who we're going for. This is a bad movie that knows it's a bad movie. Yes. We're not we're not here trying to win Oscars. Right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We're here to hang out in Vancouver with 25 million bucks, make a movie with our friends, see what happens. And see, that's the expectations where they're already aware of that. So Either it's one. like, they really don't... Okay, they really don't have nothing to lose, but they do have the money to lose. But at the yes. same time, it's just like, okay, know what we're going to get in the outcome of this. Probably going to be a dumb movie, but let's fuck it. We're the having process. fun with our friends here. We got some fun actors. So it's like, it is what it is. Well, look at it. Like, even though it didn't make all of the money back in its uh, box office recoup, mm-hmm. it made it money sales. back with its DVD yeah. sales. And yeah. if you were to bring this movie up to anyone, whether or not that they like it, they know it. They know it. Yeah, they know they Cool do. Beans for sure. Cool, oh, cool beans, beans. And what beans. a bold edit in this yeah, that, movie. That, that was know, I was going to mention that. Like, like that edit was very risky because it's super random. It, it failed in test screenings and they had cut it out. Really, and then and then Andy Samberg and, Ho- and Homeboy re-edited it, and then the director was like, "I guess oh. well, then we can put it back." In. Because I was hollering, yeah, right. When I saw test that. screeners did not like that at all, and like even when they put it back in, even Lauren Michaels was like, "We're doing the Cool Bean song," and they're like, "We're doing the Cool Bean song." Like they knew that it failed at the, with the test audience, but there was something there. Like yeah. they just had to figure out what what it was to do it, and I think they found the way to make that a funny joke. And now it's a memorable thing. Were oh, people even saying cool, say cool Beans, beans. before Don't, that? No. No, right? No. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. No, no. Yeah, no. You can look up on Google like how popular phrases have been in the past, and I can bet you Cool Beans had its spark August 3rd, 2007, when this movie Absolutely. came out. Absolutely, 100%. I feel like people even say Cool Beans without even knowing where it came yeah, from. I've done that yeah. because I didn't see this movie. I was like mm-hmm. saying Cool Beans because I heard it somewhere. I'm like, oh, Cool Beans, whatever. But then I hear people really like act like really going with it beans beans whatever i'm like i don't know what what? why like, are you <laughs> repeating these words to me cool, beans, i didn't ask beans, for this beans, yeah. beans. can like, i get that coffee Twitch? please <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, i need that ice macchiato please thank you this is a great talent but yeah. it is really coffee, beans beans not beans get you anywhere you know what else was bold in this movie was the, movie? the asian guy oh richard so that was well, interesting best person on set of what's that's this. my best person on set <laughs> really fuck that was supposed to be fucking sure i gotta find a new one that's okay i'm keeping mine i know yeah he was random bitch and it fit into this movie. I mean, having fun with it. The the fact that it was so silly and ridiculous in the beginning, and then they come back to it two, three, hmm. I think maybe even four times. They come back to it, even if, like at the end when he's like, Rod knows my name. Right. Like, he's, it's just they, they do even the overdone joke. Mm-hmm. The right amount of time. They right. bring him back, and he wants so badly to yeah. be a part of this He's crew. the number one fan. That's, yeah. that's what he's portrayed to be. He was yes. getting upset in the theater when they were playing the movie when they started <laughs> he was the making Rod, Before Rod was getting upset, yeah. he was. Right. Yeah. What a true friend. That, that's exactly he's what really his character the, was. He's mm-hmm. really the most emotionally intelligent character in this movie. That's Absolutely. the Otis of ICBTB. Oh, that's, a, that's actually that's flat, right. flattering. That's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As mm-hmm. much as Otis winks, this guy dances. So he Otis's wink is that guy's dance. Yeah, wow. you've never met Otis. If You're you lucky. were to see him in the first, he, he winks at you he's like, he's "Hey, a you want a hot dog?" He doesn't know like, how to blink. Uh-huh. He just. <laughs> I don't. Can you imagine? One at a, time. a hot dog. <laughs> no, if you were to meet him, he'll wink at you, and we want you candidly to judge wink his wink or, or wink back, sure. depending on the. I, I might wink and back. then have like a <laughs> wink off. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Hey you. Hey yeah. Did you wink at me? Yeah, exactly. I wink my eye at you, sir. Oh, you but f- do you wink your eye at me, yeah, sir? You winka. It's a uh, Roman and Juliet. It's hard for me to wink because I'm Asian, so it already looks like I'm winking with both eyes. That's called a blink. Or sleeping. <laughs> or being a I panda. heard you sleep with your eyes open. No? Who told you that? <laughs> your girlfriend. Whoa. <laughs> what are you What are you guys talking about with sleeping? Well, I just said, you ever notice how Christian's eyes get really glossed over? And she's like, yeah, well, when he sleeps, he sleeps with his eyes open. And I was like, that's probably what that's he's doing. That's a lie. That's a fucking lie. Oh, but you can't make up bits and everyone lets it go? Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> victim. Victim, victim. I do want to go back to the Richardson real quick. It's so silly because this movie started off wacky. And you yeah. kind of understood uh, how off the top it was already. Right. Uh, and it really kind of just took it to another level when you see Richardson in the pool. 
mm-hmm. saying like, hey, can I join your crew? And they're like, hey, what do you have to bring to the table, Richardson? Right. That's like right. in the first part. <laughs> yes. Like, but like already five minutes, you're thinking like, okay, this is real wacky. It can't get any wackier than this. And then boom, because yeah. it cuts to him. He's in the pool, but now he's near the showers right. in the pool. And he does yeah, the yeah, same does dance, dance. move. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I wonder if that guy got any other work after this movie. I was wondering that too. Um, he's your best person he, on set. What, what's his name? I don't know. Uh, uh, he, I, I looked it up. It's something Tam. I think he's Vietnamese. Yeah, I don't. You didn't see his filmography when you looked him up? No, I didn't click on his name. I just thought it was crazy if he got like a lead role. And no something. way. <laughs> like, like, like a ma- serious like drama. Like he <laughs> maybe got a sad card from this film, and then like still has two more lines he has to do before he can be part of the union, bro. Like he's. I don't yeah, think he bad. got that much from it. But you know, what if he was a lead in some like, like indie film? Yeah, that... some indie film that is just crazy, and he acts so good. He does the same character, mm-hmm. but it's a drama. But it's a drama, and he he's like, babe, I just need to do this move real quick. He puts his yeah. hand <laughs> yeah. behind his head, yeah. other Thrust hand on his hip, yeah. and just thrusts like yeah. crazy. Yeah, he could have a lead role somewhere. Yeah, He's like IFC. You know who didn't get enough love in this movie was the blonde chick that worked at the hot dog stand. Oh. She stood up <laughs> Andy Hader. Sandberg. Bill Hader. Yeah. Bill, Hader Bill Hader's crush. Hader so yeah, bad. Yeah. I am literally green with envy right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because Andy Sandberg was just trying to get Isla Fisher jealous. Yes, exactly. Hey, that's a great move. Date the girl right in front of you just so you can get the other girl jealous. Wow, no, that's fucked up. Someone's getting hurt. Why, you've done that before? You've dated to make someone else jealous before? I think what's really funny about this film (laughs) is the fact that they're able to just bring around (laughs) so many different jokes and just make it a coherent, like, funny stuntman film, you know? Yes. No. And can you imagine, like, having that friend that just dreams to be a stuntman? Like how dangerous they would be to be yeah. around. Like, dude, I just but look how supportive Walmart. their their group yeah, is. Their crew is like tight. They're just like, their crew yeah, is solid. Like uh, Kevin is is like the videographer. Mm-hmm. You got Rico as the explosions. Did you remember, sure what like, Dave does? You remember when he, he goes, builds the ramps? He builds the ramps. Yes, right. You remember when they go and see Kevin? Kevin's like, oh, I've been working on this, and he like <laughs> pulls up the fucking. It's the two dogs yeah. fucking. <laughs> I'm like, working on this for mom. That, that's for mom. That's a special yeah, video yeah. for mom. Like what? I. <laughs> he was like, mom likes this, and then Andy Samberg's just like, okay, special video for mom. Who am I to ask questions? When I was watching it with Ellie, I was like, I looked at her. I'm like, wait, what? She's like, yeah, it's probably the most disturbing part. Of the film. That is oh, the most yeah. disturbing. That was yeah, all right. That was a risky. That was probably the riskiest. It joke. was a very risky joke. Yeah. But it, I mean, it was very short. Yeah. They didn't expand on it. Exactly. Exactly. So I think they did a good job yeah. with it. I agree. Like I said, they know how much time to spend on a joke before it gets it's uh, too much. Yeah, that's true. You know who I really like is uh, Denise's boyfriend. Oh, Will, Will Arnett. Arnett. Oh yeah, yeah, He's yeah man. Very funny. Only on set for two days. Did all of that? Really? really? It makes sense now. Did because that all in two days? And in fact, the the guy who pulls up in the Corvette and when they're eating isn't mm-hmm. even Will Arnett. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not Will Arnett until he gets out of the car. They had they had to shoot that type of day. That is funny. Yeah, he was hilarious to me. Like the way he acted, so immature. Yes. The way, but he seemed mature coming yes. from when you introduce him. But then and just at that that date scene where they're supposed to do the double date and everything, and how he was acting was just like total he, douchebag. He's, oh, the, real he's the tool dating the girl, yeah, right? Absolutely. Like that's a pretty common trope in rock comedy shit. But like he does it so perfectly, yeah. so well. The the only other person who I think does it really well is uh, in Fired Up, the girl the the cheerleading movie. Okay, the girl's dating like a doctor. Uh, but he's like pre-med and so he keeps calling himself doctor and right. stuff and they're like but you're not a you're doctor. not even a doctor <laughs> yeah, yeah. but that is a common trope like to for this douchebag to build himself to up dri- so much right. driving a nice car be like have the right job and shit like that yeah. but like how often I guess everybody in this room except for me is in a pretty serious relationship but like how often do you guys date a girl and then you find then you meet her boyfriend or you not date a girl you meet a girl what are you you meet a girl and then you meet her boyfriend and you're like this guy's such a fucking <laughs> tool okay like this guy yeah no, Sorry, ahead, you have something ahead. to say? No, I don't. I'm no, just but with processing. that, I wonder how much it's built in our, in our psychology to already be interested in a girl and already have negative oh, yeah. expectations of this person that she's dating, right? Yeah. Because maybe we are fantasizing like, oh. He's got to be a jerk. He's got to be a jerk because you got to be with me. Right. Like, let me save you type yeah. of thing. So, I don't know. I mean, in this movie, it worked because Will Arnett, even though he was more established career-wise... Even though it seemed impossible, he was more immature than the rest of yeah, these he was boys. The w- most immature for sure. And what what killed me, what I died laughing, was the the last we saw of. Yes, 
Yes. The babe part. I'm so glad that you brought Dude, this up. Dude, the babe, 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 come like, back, babe, That has to be improvised. <laughs> you see the people had to be improvised. You know, the people in the background aren't even extras. They're just like people who are on the street because they're straight up like a mom and her daughter who are just like scared like, what the fuck at this is man going screaming. On? Yeah. But I, that's perfect because yes, yeah. realistically, that would happen. Right. Because his cadence with how he was saying it made no sense. <laughs> made no sense. Like, babe. why is he even acting like babe. that? Like, I don't know. It was, it was... I died laughing so much from that scene. I had to rewatch it. And the camera like cuts in the middle of him saying it. <laughs> it's zooming in on him but, too. But I think like... that's the only time that it really dragged out long enough, but it was okay to drag out long enough. <laughs> Again, they perfect. knew how long to they run do, the joke. They were pretty smart. Yes. Like they can come back with maybe another film, maybe get a little more serious as far as like like mm. okay, let's not take this as a dumb film. Let's see what we can really push ourselves to the limit. Wow, I, I think, think that would be stop risky. Stopping. It would be risky. I think Very that's risky. never stop stopping. Oh, no. never saw. Oh. Yeah, the the, yeah. the film. Yeah, because but, I, I mean, it was made almost nine years after this one, oh, but okay. it's the same crew. It's the same kind of thing, except in that one. Whereas this one is like dumb, silly kind of joke. That was, I think, of the era of comedy films where they're like, "Yeah, we're gonna laugh, but we're also gonna teach you a lesson." Mm. And it's like, <laughs> but do you think uh, they could take the same storyline? Let's say take the yeah. same characters, make a sequel, but change its feel. I don't think. I think that'd a, be like such that'd be, a risk. That'd be very a risky. sequel would be a huge mistake. Yeah. Yeah, especially if they want to change the format of it. Mm-hmm. Cuz if if you got the Hot Rod fans out there, they're going to kind of expect this same humor that we saw in Hot Rod yeah, in exactly. the sequel. And it's like it's now this is twice. more structured. Now we're it's like all right. Well, let's bring up Zoolander. Zoolander came out with a sequel nearly a decade after. I never saw right? it. Um, I never saw. First it. one's really funny. I'd never seen the second one, but the second one apparently tanked. It yeah, I, I, well. never saw, I never saw the second one because oh. the first one is good. And the first one's good, and I wanted it to end right there. But and if they wanted to make a sequel, they should have done it two years later, three years later, when people were asking for it, not ten years yeah. later. If they make a sequel to Hot Rod now, it's thirteen years later. None mm-hmm. of these guys are in that position that they were in in this in this movie. All of them are famous, especially Isla Fisher. Like, there's no way any of them are going to come back to do a. Um, what? I, Isla. Isla Fashar. Uh, oh, Isla there you go. Fashar. You corrected yourself. Who Who is the most famous one here? Andy. Well, let's say. I think. There's Andy Samberg. Bill yeah. Hader has a Bill Hader's fucking banging show big. on HBO. And Danny McBride. Danny McBride Danny had McBride's like, had like big three too. big shows on HBO. He's Righteous been in a lot of movies. gemstones. He's, he's in a lot of movies. He's in a lot of movies. And I love his character. Love his character. Mm-hmm. It, it gets a little played out. It gets yeah. a little played out. But I do enough. expect at least, him at least to be like consistent. that, so yeah, it does get played but out. But at least he's consistent, right? He is. Very I, consistent. When I see Chris Farley, I want to see him scream. I want to see it right. fall down a hill. Yeah. And I, you know what I mean? When I see Danny McBride, I want to see him be kind of racist, but yeah. also like... Yeah. Yeah. Very but he's like, not he's saying it, offensive. but he's not saying he's it. You know he's discriminating someone. <laughs> he's just like... To that, everyone. He's just equally discriminating. He's that cool guy that tries to be cool, but it's like, all right, you're not that cool, dude. But apparently like... So have you seen This Is The End? <laughs> this is the end. That's that, that familiar. Yeah, with um Seth Rogen, uh, oh, everybody, Jay oh, Bershaw, yeah, 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 yeah. and they play yeah. themselves, right, and it's right, like the right, apocalypse, right, right? Exactly. So they're all playing themselves. Danny McBride is in there, and apparently, as much of a funny movie as it was, and exaggerated. Uh, it was yeah. those were actual exaggerated versions of themselves so Danny McBride they're playing on the joke that he is kind of a douche and right. like uh, disagrees with a lot of people they yeah. make fun of Jonah Hill saying Jonah Hill is very hard so, to work with you know okay, yeah um, they say Jay Baruchel is kind of like the outcast of the group shy but yeah. still kind of part of their circle mm-hmm. mm. um, and James Franco is kind of just like the happy-go-lucky pothead type yeah, of dude exactly so Danny McBride is a huge douche in mm-hmm. there and so him playing that character in every single thing, he is so likable still. He is likable. There's something about him. Yes. There's something about him. Um, I, <laughs> Tropic Thunder. Yes. Uh, Pineapple Express. That's I mean, why he was in Tropic Thunder. I completely was, forgot was, about that. He was actually Demolition. Like, he was a Demolition guy. Yeah, he was a Demolition guy. <laughs> <laughs> this movie's so in funny. the same it's universe. It's in the same um, universe. Yeah, like... Also, Your Highness, the one with James Franco. I forgot mm-hmm. about that. Which I think that. is a super underrated comic. Then Again, do, same thing well. like this. Not like if you're going in there thinking it's going to be something really good, it's not. It's this. It's a dumb, yeah. stupid film mm-hmm. that takes place in the medieval times. And guess what? There's pot. Like, yeah, of course. That's what you're getting into, right. guys. You should right. you, you read the ticket. The read pot the book. movies. Um, um, shall we give it a rating and go down our best persons on set awards and, and yeah, go that dude. route? I'll give it a six out of five, dude. Really? Wow. With having high expectations already from it, from having seen it in the past, but never finishing it, um, I, I'm i expecting to like, oh, this is funny. This is good. But to laugh as loud as I did when I actually did watch this earlier mm-hmm. today. Yeah. 
I did, I did laugh out loud. Blown away. Yeah. I did laugh out loud at points, and it was actually shocking for myself as well. To be able to take stupid humor but make it palatable yeah. uh, for a 27-year-old man. Well, and this movie's for our generation. Exactly. This is an, this is an early internet-driven camcorder jackass. You know, this is this is meant, you yeah. know, this is pretty much in our wheelhouse. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Um, How about you? Oh, uh, Marjani, what would you rate it? You, wait, I'm sorry. Did you say six out of five? Yeah, man. Yeah, he likes to break the spectrum You could break sometimes. the... Yeah, you've oh, done shit. it before, dude. Mm, I have uh, never. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it... I'll give it... Let me see. I'll give it a, a three out of five. Ooh, Whoa. Harsh critic. My bad. Yeah, I'll give it a three you out of five. You a Rotten Tomato over here, man? Yeah, I guess so. No, I'm I guess a, a three, three out of five would count be today. rotten. It'd just be a tomato. It'd just be a tomato. You're so right. Yeah, you're fresh, right. That's a tomato. Safeway tomato. Fresh, right. two days old. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I said, it's not from Whole Foods. Yeah. Hey, Better foods. use it today, though. Yeah. Otherwise, it's salsa. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're breaking down this tomato too much. Yeah. Let's let them talk. The tomato is like green. And <laughs> anyways. <laughs> better um, fry that motherfucker. Yeah, better fry that motherfucker. Um, no, like I said, this 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 humor is more for me. So yes. I really enjoyed like like watching this film. And like I said, the quick subtleties, it was there. It wasn't too dumb for me, even though if I looked outside of it, yeah, it's dumb or whatever. But I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of the actors, so... Yeah, I mean, that helps for sure. Yeah, that exactly. Sure. Um, I give it a solid four out of five. I think it's definitely worth rewatching, especially if you haven't seen it in a long time. Uh, I don't know if it's the greatest comedy I've ever seen in my life, right. but I do think it is a good movie. I do think it's worth rewatching. Um, so uh, you know, four out of five. All right, uh, best uh, best persons, best people on set. You had you've already kind of hinted at George Richardson, yeah. dude, the Asian guy, the only <laughs> Asian in the. Well, I don't yeah. know what state this uh, takes place in. But it makes sense. It, it seems like it's Vancouver. predominantly white. Filmed in uh, Vancouver? Okay. Yep. Uh, like a lot of movies. Yeah. Um, but... <laughs> I was going to say, a lot of white people in Vancouver. <laughs> lot... Still a fact. <laughs> also sucks. not a fact. Uh, yeah. you know, that's, that's still pretty. But yeah, dude. Um, for him to have little to no lines. Yeah. And make, no, me, Mulhill. make me laugh. The If I were to break down the, uh, the movie <laughs> in terms of like... Uh, if I were to make it a pie chart, let's say. Okay, and, here we go. And really allocate I the percentages like yeah. in like how much each character made me laugh. We know pie charts. He, he, I don't know if this kind of works. Pound for pound for like how much, how much. Are uh, we doing pound cake now? How yeah, many cake. lines he had Ugh, so and how much screen time he had made me laugh so much in comparison to others. I don't know. I kind of, I, that, that was poorly so his, articulated. Okay. His screen time per capita was more laughs than anyone else. Exactly. Yep. Summarize. Um, my best person on set award is a gentleman by the name of John Crate. He was Andy Samberg's stuntman, and he's the one who shattered his uh, shin bone How can doing that first stunt. Yep. Really. Poor guy. Hey, totally worth it, though. And it's like Stuntman Credo. If they like break a leg or die in a you film, have to, you dude. have to use that cut. Well, you don't have yeah. to die, but you... Well, and a lot of ones who, like in the Twilight Zone movie, the dude got his head cut off, they fucking used that shot. <laughs> yeah. It's Wait, crazy. Which episode... The Twilight Zone oh, movie. movie. The Twilight Zone movie. How did he get his head cut off? He jumped out of an airplane that was crashing, and his head got caught in the propellers and got chopped off. Oh shit! Uh, in no. Ghost Rider, when he makes the jump and falls and hits his head on the front wheel, that snapped the neck of the stuntman. They used that shot. That, that actually happened. Yeah, because it would be a disgrace to not use it. I mean, honestly, if your whole goal in life is to do the craziest thing, especially if like the stunt is to mess up. Right, like in in Ghost Rider or in this movie, like, you gotta use the one where you actually mess hurt. up. Yeah, yeah. That's you know the what most I mean. Realistic one. Meisner actors, bro. That's Method. depressing. Yeah. <laughs> Method stuntman. Who's well, the best person on set of work? <laughs> Method um, stuntman, bro. No. I don't know. I'm a little depressed. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're sad. Now he's gonna give <laughs> his best person on he set of work. He got paid a bunch depressed. of money. I think you shouldn't feel that bad, honestly. He knew he had what to he pay was the doing. hospital bill. He, he was not forced to be the stuntman. They paid didn't for like, his funeral, strap. dude. They they didn't, yeah, he didn't funeral. die. He just broke his leg. Oh, I'm sorry. Why was I still thinking that? Wow. He died? So yeah, sorry. Twilight. I was thinking about the Twilight dude. Not Twilight. Twilight Zone dude. Twilight Zone. Uh, Will <laughs> Arnett. <Robert Patton. laughs> yeah, Will Arnett would be my Lego Batman. That's a good yes. one. Yeah, he's awesome. Just just because his character was so random. Yeah. And it threw threw the audience off guard after a while, and that babe scene just got me like. Dang, it made you start crying because that's how you scream at your last girlfriend when she left you and you're like babe babe babe, babe, babe come back. it sounded like a vocal warm up <laughs> like he's a singer yeah. and he was just doing yeah. like a uh, either a theater warm up or like a vocal warm up for singers right. what yeah, was his friend's name 
at the bar? Scully? Sullivan. 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 Oh, Sullivan's oh. going to love this story. <laughs> oh, because he ran over <laughs> a is, raccoon. Is, yeah. Oh, my God. Right. I was oh, crying. Yeah, I, I legitimately <laughs> was crying laughing at the raccoon thing because he swerves to hit and she goes, oh, my God, what was that? He goes, <laughs> I just hit a raccoon. <laughs> <Big> raccoon. <laughs> well, nope. and that is, this is my spirit animal. <laughs> he, he's not even animal. He's your spirit human. <laughs> he's my spirit. Well, go back to like like Dave when he had like the um the cut. <laughs> the shard was in his that, eye was that a tiny bus we ran over <laughs> what the fuck he walks up to the hospital <laughs> yeah points at the trash can <laughs> hospital no <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets inside the hospital yeah. he like starts Freaks laying out. down yeah and it's like defending himself yeah. it's fucking crazy that 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 shit's funny bill Hader not wearing a wig don't, hair, don't hair fuck with me. Oh, okay, I was going to say, he did not grow his wow. hair out for this role. You get really upset at yeah. like semi-facts, but you got to hear my whole sentence. No, no, bro. no. It's not that I don't believe you, but that it's just so unbelievable. Like, I, if you were to tell me, no, legit dude, he grew his hair out, I'd be like, okay, The truth okay, is maybe. stranger than fiction sometimes, my friend. Mm. Um, I uh, Another scene that I would like to shout out before yeah. we do uh, sign off is when he first sees uh, Isla Fisher like, yeah. through the hedges. And as she's walking away after the catch up a little like, bit, he's like, Yeah, I, I think you're really pretty. Yeah. And she's oh, like, What? Like what? <laughs> I think you're really shitty. <laughs> I think you're really shitty. Good night. <laughs> just runs. Just runs. Legitimately. But again, runs. she doesn't even, it doesn't phase it doesn't, her. No. It, it's like, whatever. What's beautiful about this movie is that the reactions do not. Right. Match the Hers. actions. They, that, well, the yes. people in the crowds, their reactions match up perfectly. No, uh, yeah, the, the yeah, extras but, for uh-huh. sure. Yeah, but the main people though, there's, there's like no reaction to anything. Exactly at all. That's that's They're what dead. makes it super funny. Dead. They're dead behind those. Like lines. when yeah. Andy Samberg first pulls out the picture of his dead dad and starts crying, that's and my then dad. he's dead. Kevin he's really walks dead. in. <laughs> And he's like, get out! <laughs> and he's Kevin's like, like yeah. okay. Gross okay. tears. Like, yeah. dude, it was... And also, when uh, they find Frank dying on the couch, Andy Samberg pushes Kevin out of the <laughs> yeah. way. His biological Shoves son. His, his biological... Oh, yeah, yeah. And no, he, Kevin no doesn't react. There's no reaction to that at all, yeah. And also, Frank um, and... Andy Samberg start fighting while he's on uh, the yeah. couch. Yeah. And he, they're yelling at each other. And Kevin's like, hey, is everything okay? Like, very calm. <laughs> very calm. Like, I would be yelling if yeah. you were yelling at my biological dad that is dying on a couch. That's so funny. There's one more. Actually, there's one more person I just thought of. Who? The- <laughs> The AM radio guy. Chris Parnell. Chris Parnell. How yes. the fuck did we not talk about Gary. I know. His, his like... Tattoo? D- no, was it the tattoo of the guy peeing? Yeah, it's the tattoo. It's like goes to television, and he's so against television and FM radio because he feels he's like an, AM, AM radio is going to be the wave of the future. <laughs> he's like, he wants to imagine that so he, funny. the guy just had sex. So there's a little bit of a... Uh, what was it that he said? Like some, There's a little... So he had sex the <laughs> night before. I'd like to imagine that there's a little bit of semen residue in the residue, urethra. Yeah. yeah, but you see, so you got AM two radio is just so dry and it's not yeah it's so dry it's so dry and so good it's nice like <laughs> what up is tr- My, you, i just <laughs> there's like a triangle yeah. on his stomach i yeah. just love the idea of them doing a visual based stunt <laughs> on, mm. on on am, AM radio fucking the radio fact where, the fact where they're on the news it's getting news coverage but it's exclusively being on broadcast AM from radio. am radio so they turn off the television go get a radio right. and, and turn on the radio they're eating popcorn Frank is oh eating popcorn my God. Yeah. they yeah. raised $50,000 I, I was like how 55, are they fucking doing that? yeah because he raised $5,000 that they had to give back to the movie guy well also they felt bad for him too like when he crashed right? yeah and he got and back how, up that's how he, he got back up and that's how he got the money of course that's how telethons work though we want to see if it does and like usually you get right. more money if you fail right and do you want to talk about the moment that you did not remember seeing in this oh, movie oh fuck when so when he crashes and he blacks out for a little bit dies yeah he dies for a little bit I did yeah I had never seen a taco bar. grilled cheese fight but, yeah because that was one of the questions that he asked Denise like who would win against <laughs> a, t- a, a grilled cheese or a taco and she's like I think the taco he's like okay that's a little racist I like the way that she oh, no, answered no. it though she said a taco in a if it was a dirty fight a taco what, if, there, if it's prison rules it's prison rules prison rules it would be taco and he's like okay that's a little racist like yeah. <laughs> That's and that was even the question he was gonna ask. He was about to ask her on a date, but right, then Will was... Arnett came from the cuts, That's dude. That's right, dude. Classic. Lego Batman. Lego Batman. Um, dude, anything else you want to say about the movie? No, dude, sign, it was funny. Sign off? It's great. It was, it was a great pick, guys. All right. Like, well, I mean, oh, we didn't pick it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, you you brought this up to us, and I'm so you know glad that you guys approved it, though. Yeah, dude. Well, it fit all of the categories, and we were excited. Yeah, no, to that's watch true. This, it's true. Man. Yeah. Um, do you want to tell the baddies uh, all of your socials everywhere that they can uh, find you and what you do, just in case yeah, they didn't sure. watch our previous episode that came out on Tuesday? Yeah, definitely. So you can find me on Instagram, shot by Marjani, M A R J O N N I. I'm sure it'll be right there. Right I'll put there. it right here. It'll be Boom. right there. Uh, if you like, if you like. Games, streamings, whatever. Follow me on Twitch, aka Zero, aka Z I R, the number Zero. I thought you were going to say it again. Yeah. AKA Zero, <laughs> AKA, AKA Zero. You just glitched, zero, AKA, AKA zero, 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 AKA Zero. You know, beans, Tell beans, you stream. beans. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty much right now streaming like competitive games, but I also do story games like Last of Us, yeah. uh, maybe Watch Dogs, some chill streams Ooh. or whatever. So I'm waiting for Cyberpunk to come out. Oh, uh, with Keanu Reeves. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. And I that just, Tesla yeah. truck. Yo, mm-hmm. I just bought Ghost yeah. of Tsushima. How you like that? Oh. I know. I just Samurai let it download Red last Dead. night. Samurai Red Dead is a good way to put it from, from the gameplay mm-hmm. that I've seen. I haven't seen mm-hmm. it. Have you played it yet? I have not. I've been seeing some some streams on it, though. It looks but, uh, gorgeous. Is, is it? Yeah. It's really it gorgeous. looks gorgeous. Yeah. I don't know. I hear the storylines, whatever. Yeah. Um, But it still it looks good. Yeah. Also, what's free on PlayStation? Uh, I know this is the end of the episode. So if, you, if you're sticking around for this and you're a gamer, kudos to you. Fall Guys. Download Fall Guys. Is that it's the new? It's free right free? now. It's, it's a about- very silly game. Um. Oh, Check it out. Um, I know. I. Why is that's that, all we're gonna get. That's okay. I. It's kind of that so familiar. Something's hard to about articulate. That. It's a very cute competitive game, dude. I cannot. I can't articulate it for you. Right. I can well, only we'll show just you. Have to check it out. Yeah, yeah. Right. I guess so. Yes, I will. Uh, all right. Yep. It's like a fifty-person Mario Party. There, that's a good way to put it. Wow, that was a really easy way to explain it. Vi- that's that what. Is that's huge. that's how, how you can put <laughs> it. Yeah. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. I understand it. And yeah. like, yeah, fifty people. You could, they can play. You could customize your avatar. You're very like cute looking. Mm. Like, is it like could, Little Big Planet? It looks like Little Big Planet characters. Okay. Uh, but you, but better. But you and you accumulate points from these mini games, okay. these Mario Party like mini mini games. Um and you could buy yourself like aesthetic features and whatnot. Um, yeah, I'm so gonna download that. If you got I'll, PS4, I'll check it out. Download Folk check 3. it out. All check right, out. um, guys, follow us on Instagram at ICBTB Podcast, or you could check out our website at ICBTB.com. Um, we got merch, yo. So uh, hit us up. DM Go to our us. Yeah. Um, we got a bunch of different types of shirts. We got stickers for you too. Uh, check it out on on our website. Um, email us at icbtbpodcast at yahoo.com. All right. And uh, you guys know where to find Marjani. Marjani, thank you very much. Like I no said problem. before, we were pleasure. super fucking excited to have oh, yeah. you here in the studio. I'll be back. Yeah, dude. Will and you'll you? be back. Will I? No. Will you? But I want to <laughs> engage the audience. No, That's I'm for like sure it. Leave back. a cliffhanger. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Dude. The end? The then, end. Dot, dot, dot. It's never the end. Question mark. Uh, but yeah, dude. Thanks for uh, joining us here. Can you sing us out? I don't I don't know how to sing. You got to sing our theme song. It can't be that bad. It can't be that bad. Uh, it can't be that bad. Uh, At first it sounded like you had <laughs> asthma. All right. Peace. <laughs> Bye. Can't be that bad. Oh.